Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in my previous lecture I would like explaining about the various operations onto the lathe machines but the basic things is what which kind of parameters you have to controlling for the lathe operations. So today I am talking about the machining parameters for the lathe operations. So that will be the important one. So first starting with the cutting speed. So how you can define a cutting speed so basically cutting speed of the tool is the speed at which the metal is removed by the tool from the workpiece so for the lathe machines just you can see the basic arrangement and that will be the workpiece materials fitted onto the chalk and that will be the axis of the rotations so you can say that will be the chuck and that will be our workpiece. So for the turning operations that will be the positioning of the tool. So whenever that will be in physical contact with the workpiece material that will be formation of the chips. So by the feed is providing into this direction and depth of cut that will be providing into this directions. So that will be controlling the feed with the depth of cut by the tool. So what happened for the lathe machines? So that will be the axis of the rotations. So that two workpiece is being rotated and tool is fit against the rotating of the workpiece. So in case of the lathe, it is the peripheral speed of the work post and to cutting and that will be tool expressed into the meter per minute. So in simple way that will be the periphery onto the work piece and that peripheral speed of the work pass to the cutting tool. So how much amount of material that will be passed to the cutting edge in terms of the meter per minute. So that will be called it a speed. So that will be depends upon the rotation of that particular components with that diameter. So two main elements. First rotation and diameter. So the cutting speed in case of the lathe operations that will be expressed as a pi d and D stands for the diameter of the work into mm and capital N that will be representing as a revolution per minute of the workpiece divided by 1000. So that should be into the meter per minute. So that kind of meter materials it will be passing through that particular tip of the tool per minute. So that will be called as a cutting speed. Second important part for the lathe operations and that will be as a feed. So basically the arrangement of the workpiece and tool as you can see that will be our workpiece material fitted into the chuck and that will be the axis of the rotation. Axis of the rotations. So this one is our workpiece and that will be rotated. And for the different positionings of the tool with the workpiece. So basically two types. Orthogonal and oblique. So that will be our tool. And basically that will be single point cutting tool or you can say SPCT. So how you can define the feed? The longitudinal feed of the cutting tool in the lathe work is distance that a tool is advanced for the each revolution of the workpiece. So whenever the starting with the rotation of the workpiece about this axis that will be the longitudinal feed or you can say distance that tool advance for the each revolution. So for advancement into this direction so you can say advancement of the tool for each rotation so basically by that rotations the tool is moving into this direction so that will be providing a 
feed in case of the turning operations onto the lathe machines. So how you can define the feeds? So basically that will be expressed into mm per revolutions. So feed f that will be equal to length. So that will be depends upon the how much length is travel by this tool for cutting operations for the turning. So that length that will be the dependable and that will be the revolutions as well as the time required. So basically feed that will be equal to length upon RPM into the time. So L stands for the length of the workpiece into mm. N stands for the RPM of the work and T stands for the time into minutes. So that would be all about the feed in case of the lathe machine. Third one, depth of cut. So depth of cut is the perpendicular distance measured from the machine surface to the unmachined surface of the workpiece. So once again, that will be our workpiece material which is fitted into the chuck and that will be our workpiece material and different kind of operations that will be our tool. So the depth of cut that will be the perpendicular distance of that particular rotating axis. So in this moment tool is travel from the machine surface to the unmachined surface of the workpiece. So that will be unmachined surface and whenever it will be touched with the workpiece that will be the machine surface. So that feed you can say that movement of the tool which is advanced towards the axis of the rotation. So that will be the axis. So that will be called as a depth of cut in case of turning operations. So basically depth of cut that will be depends upon that particularly unmachined diameter so initial diameter capital D or you can say capital D that will be representing as a diameter of the work in mm before machining and small d that will be after machining so d minus d divided by 2 so that will be of the depth of cut now important part machining time for the lathe operations so basically that will be depends upon speed feed and depth of cut so basically machining time that will be a rotational speed feed and length of the workpiece is known then the machining time for the turning can be calculated as that will be the machining time t that will be equal to l upon f into n when the l is stands for the length of the workpiece into mm and n that will be the rpm of the work and f that will be the feed in mm per revolutions. So these four are the important parameters you should control for the lathe operations. So basically feed, speed, depth of cut that will be the dependable parameter for the machining time. So if you like this then subscribe and share more the mechanical engineering tutorials. Thank you very much.